Hi YouTube, this is Molly with another video. Today we're taking the D train all the way up to Belmont in the Bronx, which has an amazing little Italy. The Italian immigrant heritage in the Bronx dates back to the 1850s. Named after former president Chester A. Arthur, Arthur Avenue is the main strip. You can get here by taking the Harlem line out of Grand Central Station to either Fordham Station or Botanical Garden Station here. Your other option would be to take the subway, either using the B and D line or the 4 line. It is about a 14 minute walk from the B and D Fordham Road Station to Arthur Avenue. The terrain is mostly downhill, so if that is an issue for you, there is always the option of taking an Uber or a Lyft. Here is the lay of the land. In the description below, I will link this map and also all of the Yelp listings and websites for the businesses that I visited today. So this is Gino's. They've been around since 1960 and they're very well known for their cannolis. Many famous people have come into their place to visit as you can see from this wall. I went with the chocolate chip cannoli and a cappuccino. I've heard that these are some of the best here in Little Italy. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. They're stretched. It was so good I got cannoli dust all over my pants. This is Full Moon Pizzeria. They have really great reviews for their pizza. As I was ordering, there seemed to be a lot of locals grabbing a slice for their lunch break. That's how you can tell, it must be pretty good. The best way to eat your pizza is to fold it in half, like so. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Mm. Mmm, it's fresh. Mmm. So, I just got the cheese. It cost $4. Someone after me was getting a pepperoni. That one's $5.50. Just so you know, for one slice. But they're big. They're like two slices, basically. Nice little park to sit in and eat a slice of delicious pizza. Oysters on a half shell.
This is one of the places that was recommended. They are well known for their bread. Hello again, so we're gonna try the cheese <laughs> the cheese bread. So they actually pre it sliced it. As you can see here. I'm actually not that hungry right now, I'm not starving, so I am going to just have a little piece. Mmm. Oh, that is fresh. Mmm. Mmm. So this is Borgatti's and they're very well known throughout the area and the U.S. apparently. A lot of the reviews talked about people coming from Colorado just to come here for the ravioli and egg noodles. Alright, so I'm cooking the egg noodles right now and I will let you know how they taste. Mm. Those are fresh. 